well here we are I've been waiting for this for a long time sorry about the wind it's pretty windy out here today but uh, it's, it's a great day nice and warm I got the uh, 94 CR 500 and I got a 22 CRF 450 R and we're gonna see which one's quicker which one's easier to ride but I gotta say guys today we're not doing a full-on test we're just gonna ride it up and down the driveway there's no tracks open no trails open yet my plans are restoring the CR500 right after this Four fifty versus five hundred, because we got a lot more tests to do. We're gonna drag race them. We're gonna put them on the track. We're gonna pull some hills. See how they go. But first, I'm gonna restore the five hundred. Right now, she's still in really good shape. This is how I bought it, and I did take it out already. And everything works perfect on this bike. Tranny clutch, everything is great. I'm just gonna tear it down, restore it, powder coat the frame, everything. And if you uh, follow my channel, you know my 450. This thing here is a nice bike, I love it. Completely stock, they're both stock, guys. There's always an issue, I always see on YouTube guys comparing 500s to 450s. And guys, let me tell you, those 500s they're comparing have bigger bores, port polish. I've seen racing heads on them and they're just leaving the 450 out to dry. This comparison is gonna be stock to stock. Well guys, if, you, if you're new on my channel, hit subscribe, hit the like button, the notify button, notify you every time I get a new video and uh, this is what we do. Welcome to MG's garage, Mike Elise's garage. This is what we do. Right now I'm working on this. Should be done soon. I'm waiting for the engine. We've got this 86 badass right here. This thing here is gonna go back all to stock original. It's got that stroker engine that gives out 64 horsepower. Can't wait for that. We're gonna put that up against the 450 also when it's done and if you guys haven't seen I just picked up this 1995 CR250 a new addition to my shop this one here also we're gonna tear down restore bring it back to its original glory and this 1990 RM250 I keep putting it on the back burner but I'm gonna get to it this summer for sure guys and that KTM that's my hard enduro bike that's what I ride when I go do some hard enduro it's a 2023 300 XCW so like I said if you're new to the channel subscribe I, I usually put out one or two videos a week if I'm not restoring something I'm out riding but today guys we're gonna try out these two badasses to see which one is truly the badass. The younger brother or the older brother. Well, here we go, guys. Got the 500 going. Took like three kicks. I switched camera. Sorry about the angle. But my camera crew ain't here today, so I'm all alone.
bikes everywhere.
right way. But, uh, well, guys, here it is. I brought the bikes in. They're both awesome bikes. You know, I was a little disappointed. Couldn't get a good review on them. You know, they're both pretty much on the same level. I'm sorry. I don't mean to disappoint you guys that were expecting, you know, me to pick one out of the other. I really can't right now. Like I said, you know, one bike's got a little window that might have a little more power. And the other one, you can rev it right to the moon. They're going to do good in different places, but I really got to test them. I really got to give them both a fair, fair shot. The 500, I got to put the Lextron carb on it. That's, that's fair because the 450 is fuel injected. So like she's running good, but I'm going to give it that little extra edge. Like I said, I'm going to restore it. Won't be long. And I'm going to get them both out on a track, both out, out in the real world or you know some real trails and some hairy shit where they're both gonna do good where they where, where they both belong and then we can test it out i'm sorry if you were expecting me to pick one over the other but it's just too soon guys you're gonna have to stay tuned and watch all the tests i do on both of them and i swear i'm gonna come to one and i'll tell you what i think this is uh my opinion but like I said, guys, a lot of times I see the 450 get hung out to dry. They bring in a CR500 that's got big bore, you know, racing heads, port and polish, all done up, and they put it up against the 450, which ain't right. So I'm gonna do it right. I'm gonna get a stock 450 and a stock 500. Yeah, the 500 might have an updated carb, but that's only fair because the 450 is fuel injected so that's what it is now guys stay tuned this is what we're gonna do wait for the videos that come out i'm gonna finish the kx i'm gonna start on that 500 i'm gonna work on this bike a lot of videos but as soon as that that bike is ready like i said we're gonna take them out we're gonna drag race them side by side gotta get my buddy marco here he's a nice he's a good pro rider and we're gonna go at it with both bikes and we're gonna see stay tuned guys if you haven't subscribed subscribe i already told you we have a gentleman's agreement here i i do the work i put out the content all you gotta do is subscribe it's, everything is free all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button guys subscribe all right guys see you later